So it's been like a month since the last time I filmed a video and I literally just decided to sit down and do this about five minutes ago. So if it seems like I'm a little rusty or if I'm unprepared for this, it's because I am. So today I'm going to be doing another media of the moment video. Media of the moment, if you are unaware, is a series that I've started on my channel where I basically just sit down and talk to you every month or so about the things that I'm currently reading, watching, listening to, any media that I'm currently consuming. That's what I talk about in this series. And honestly, you're getting one of these today because I don't have anything book-wise to talk about, so I can't film book video, so you're getting another video about the other things that I'm doing because as I have been doing all year, I haven't really been reading, and by really I mean at all. I'm not sure when I last filmed one of these, but um, the last book that I read was Little Monsters by Cara Thomas, so I don't know if I mentioned it in that video or if this is new to this video, but I read this like at the end of August, I think. So this is the most recent book I've read, so that's where we're at with the reading. I've been doing 20 billion other things, and I really haven't been in a mood to read, just like I haven't been for the rest of the year, so I haven't been reading. Not sure when this is going up, so either right before this video or right after this video, a book haul is going to be going up. That book haul was also filmed like a month ago, so super behind on reading stuff. Haven't been reading, haven't been buying books, that's where we're at. I've basically given myself the rule that I'm not allowed to buy any more books and there's not anything else to that. It's not that I'm not allowed to buy books until X. I'm just, I'm not reading so there's no point in buying any books. I will probably get the new Harry Potter illustrated book when it comes out, but other than that I'm just not buying any more books until I guess I read more. I don't know. I don't have any stipulations to this rule. I just, I'm not buying anymore. I've just been in such a reading slump all year. There have been brief times when I've read a lot and then gone back to being in a slump, but yeah, that's just where we're at with reading right now, as I think I've said like three times in this video at this point. There are a few books that are kind of piquing my interest right now, so I might make some sort of top of my TBR video sometime soon as like just something to talk about books, but yeah. Lately I just haven't been in the mood to read and I haven't been buying any books. What I have been doing though is listening to a lot of new music and watching a lot of new stuff and listening to podcasts. So let's just go ahead and move on to that stuff. So like with the last few of these videos, I have been listening to a lot of K-pop lately and once again I've fallen in love with a new group just as I did in the last video. To catch all up to speed, my two favorite K-pop groups are Infinite and GOT7. I absolutely absolutely love them and I'm so excited for the GOT7 comeback soon and I'm so excited that Infinite is finally starting to regroup now that they only have six members. I'm just very excited about all the things going on with those two groups. And I've still been listening to them a ton and I absolutely love them, but there's another group that I've fallen in love with and it's not really even a group and it's not really even technically K-pop, but it is a Korean band and that is Day6. Day6 is a band that is under JYP Entertainment and it's actually their their first band and they're fantastic. I kept telling myself for like two months that I needed to listen to them because I kept seeing them pop up and they kept sounding like something I would be into and I finally listened to them and I'm in love. I basically downloaded all of their music within the span of like three days and this year they're going on this like huge mission to release two new songs every single month this year and today the day that I'm filming this is the day that their October single came out and I'm in love. Every single song of theirs that I've listened to is fantastic. I'm convinced that they are incapable of releasing music that is less than perfection and I honestly might have a new favorite band. Like, all-time favorite band. They're that good. And on top of the fact that their music is fantastic, I love all of the members. All five of them are absolutely precious and hilarious, and one of them is possibly my new ultimate bias ever, which is a bold statement, but possibly true. I'm not quite sure he's able to beat out Sungyu from Infinite, and I'm really, really hesitant to say that he'd beat out Jin Young from GOT7, but... Brian from Day6 is possibly a flawless human. I've yet to find a flaw, so if you have, let me know. But seriously, the guy is good at everything, and he's adorable, and so sweet, and so smart, and I just, I, I can't deal with him. So Brian's stage name is Young K, but no one ever calls him Young K, and he's the bassist of Day6, and he's also the main rapper, 
but he's also got this amazing singing voice and honestly he could become the main vocalist of the band like tomorrow and I don't think anyone would complain. And honestly for any given song the main vocalist of the group changes because they all sing except for the drummer so like any one of them could be the main vocalist at any point in time because all four of the singers in the group are fantastic and they're all just such great instrumentalists and such great songwriters and I don't know what to do with myself because I'm obsessed, I'm in love, every single one of their songs is perfect, and they are adorable humans on top of it. I need to stop myself because I will seriously go on and on for like 20 minutes about how perfect these guys are and how much I love their music, so I'll stop myself. But seriously, if, even if you're not into Korean music or K-pop, if you're into alternative music or like pop punk or emo, please check out Day6. They're so good. Like I said, I'll stop myself, but they're fantastic. In my last video, I mentioned that I'd started listening to BTS, and I've definitely listened to them a lot more. I've gotten a lot more familiar with the members of BTS. Rap Monster is still my bias, though. I love him. He's great. Suga is also fantastic. I love him. He's so savage, but also so adorable. And then Tay is probably next. I love Tay. He's just so quirky, and I, I really enjoy BTS. They're not all the way up there with my three ultimate favorites, but they're pretty close behind. I've also really gotten into Blackpink. They're super cool. Um, I've also listened to some more EXO. That's probably about it to be perfectly honest because I've been listening to a lot of new stuff but it's been mostly like just Day 6's entire discography on a constant loop because like I said it's fantastic. If you are interested to hear more about the music that I've been listening to lately, I've started a series on my blog where I basically just post the top 10 songs I've had on constant repeat for each month, and the September one should be live by the time this video is posted, so I'll leave that either linked up in the cards or down in the description. I've also gotten so obsessed with all of this K-pop stuff that I've actually started a second channel where I've been making some K-pop videos. It's been a lot of fun. So far I've posted an unhelpful guide to infinite and also my top 10 favorite infinite songs i've got tons more videos up in my brain to do it's just a really fun creative outlet for me and i've been having just a ton of fun editing videos for it so that will be linked up in the cards as well i think that's about it for the music so let's move on to the stuff that i've been watching which i'm almost as obsessed with as i am with the music that i've been listening to lately so i think i've mentioned the genius in literally every single one of these videos this year but it bears repeating and also it's relevant again because I've been watching a show that is inspired by the same thing as The Genius is. So allow me to backtrack and explain. The Genius is of course a reality competition all about outsmarting people and being clever and it's fantastic. Link up in the cards to the video that I made about why it's so amazing and why it's my favorite TV show but the TV show was inspired by a manga series called Liar Game. I haven't read the manga, mostly because it's hard to find online and I don't think there are print copies in English, but essentially the premise of the manga is that there's this competition where people are outsmarting people and trying to be clever to win money and the competition is called the Liar Game. And there have been both a Korean drama and a Japanese drama based off of this manga and I kept meaning to get to them eventually and then I was scrolling through Hulu and I saw the Korean version on Hulu so I decided to watch it. And I fell in love. I got obsessed. It's the first Korean drama that I've ever watched and I absolutely loved it. There's only one season. There have been talks about a second one, but it was just so, so, so good. I think I watched it within the span of like 48 hours. I couldn't stop watching. So then I fell so in love with it and I needed more, so I went ahead and I watched the Japanese drama, which is actually earlier. The Korean version came out in 2014 and the Japanese version came out in, I believe, 2007. So the Japanese version has two seasons and the first season covers the same amount as like the first two thirds of the Korean drama and then the second season of the Japanese version moves on from there. I'm not sure how far it goes from there because I've only finished the first three episodes of season two, but I'm still absolutely obsessed with it. I'm loving it. It's so good. Personally, I think I still prefer the Korean version, maybe because I watched it first, but I think that it's a little bit more serious of a drama versus the Japanese version, which can be a little bit silly at times. And I also like the way that the main lead guy 
is portrayed in the K-drama more than in the Japanese drama. My favorite character in each of the versions is the main male lead, Woo Jin, in the Korean drama and Akiyama in the Japanese drama. The character is just so clever and so smart and good at outsmarting people and the one thing that I do love about Akiyama in the Japanese version is that he just is good at like smirking at whoever he beat and just laughing at them in their face. Woojin, on the other hand, is a much more serious, much more deadpan character, which I kind of almost love even more. I don't know. It's my favorite character in both series. But yeah, they're both fantastic. I recommend both of them. I don't know if I would recommend a starting point. I guess I would say the Korean one just because I prefer it and I think that it's nice to go through it and not be spoiled because they're pretty similar trajectories across the board. So I would say I prefer the Korean one to start with, but do whatever you want. If a campier, less serious version is what appeals to you, definitely go for the J-drama first. Either way, they're both fantastic. Highly recommended. Also, Big Brother just ended last week, and I, of course, have been keeping up with it for the past three months. I'm not gonna spoil the winner for y'all, but I will just say that I think that the other person should have won, but I understand why the jury voted for the person that they did. I liked both of them. Um, I'm happy for the person who won. I just think the other person played a better game overall. There were definitely some flaws. That is really, really obvious. And they left the jury pretty bitter, which is why they lost. But overall, I think that they played a better game. But either way, I love both of them. I'm happy for both of them. I'm fine with how it turned out, even though the other person should have won. I've also been watching Project Runway. Um, this season I'm keeping up with it more than I have the past couple seasons because I actually have some people that I really really like and think are going to do well. So my preseason winner pick was Brandon and I am killing it with the preseason winner pick because Brandon has been killing it on the TV show. I personally really like him. I like his aesthetic and I'm really glad that he shows him as my winner pick. But also my absolute favorite person on this season is Kentaro who is a precious, precious human, and he was a classical musician, which is why I was immediately drawn to him. And I love that he and Brandon have formed this like cute bromance, and I love his aesthetic, and just overall super love those two, and I see them going so far into this season. I'm so excited. I love them. I also really love Kenya. I love the stuff that I saw from her preseason, and she's doing super well so far. And I think those are the people that are really standing out to me. Um, those are the major players that I'm really liking. And finally, moving on to the podcast I've been listening to, which is pretty much the same thing as always, listening to Rob Has a Podcast, constantly listening to Rob Has a Podcast. Um, I've also been listening to Talk to Me in Korean some, which is the podcast that I use to learn Korean. I've also been listening to some podcasts that cover um, Project Runway, which I'm really enjoying. I listen to After Buzz TV and then the official Project Runway podcast. I like both of them. I probably prefer After Buzz, but both of them are pretty cool. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that's about it for the media I've been consuming. Um, I have been working quite a bit on like my blog and on this second K-pop YouTube channel that I've started. Um, so I guess I can talk about that a little bit since I typically talk about some stuff I've been working on. So like I said, I have that unhelpful guide to Infinite that I worked on and then the top 10 Infinite songs. I'm planning on posting one about like the songs that got me into K-pop. Um, and then also I'm hoping to do an unhelpful guide to day six because there's not one out there that I've seen so far, so that'll be fun. And then on my blog I also did a full ranking of all of Infinite singles, which will be linked up in the cards. I'm planning on doing both a video and possibly a blog post on my favorite Infinite non-title tracks, so all of like the normal album tracks, um, ranking probably the top 20 of those because there are so many good ones that it's hard to like only do 10, so I'll probably do a top 20 for that. So yeah, that's basically what I've been working on and what I've been reading and watching and listening to, so I think that is about it. As always, I will leave links down in the description to my blog, Twitter, and Goodreads. Please add me as a friend on Goodreads. I would love to be friends with all of you. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.